that is the theory behind the first flush diverter. Welcome to Redbud. Today we're going to prepare this 275 gallon tote to be a rain catchment system. Um, it involves a couple things. One is cutting a hole to receive the water from our downspouts, from our gutters. Uh, cutting another hole for uh, the overflow. Um, and we're going to talk about the plumbing regarding all that. Um, plus, we're going to be um, preparing some mounts uh, on the side so that we can have those mounts mounted to the metal frame so that the exterior siding can be mounted onto those wooden mounts uh, that protects the plastic tote, uh, but also limits the amount of sunshine that gets into the onto the water. Uh, if you get sun in there, um, cause all sorts of algae growth and things that you don't want in your water. So uh, darkness is the best, so that exterior siding, lots of benefits there. So let's get started. To cut our holes in the plastic, um, I use this variable adjustable uh, hole saw. Um, basically the drill um, is attached here and spins around and it slings this cutter around making the hole the size that we want. And this is adjustable so I can loosen this um, um, hex wrench here uh, and adjust this in and out. Uh, when you're doing this you want to test this uh, because this can slide on you um, so typically on a scrap piece of lumber we'll, we'll test that. Alright so we've got our pilot hole drilled here we're gonna get started um, once this gets in, we're going to move real slow so that the plastic doesn't rip.
go over how rain catchment and this first flush diverter system works. Okay, so we're going to start up at the top, and this is a flexible uh, downspout pipe connects to a gutter. So I'm going to cut off my gutter up higher and above the rain tote, and so the water comes down the gutter, enters in the flexible pipe. I use that typically to get around a corner or something and kind of hide the, the rain tote. And the rain comes down through that T right there and then comes down and gets stopped by the clean out. Now this clean out section here uh, drips very slowly, so like one drip a second. So this is slowly um, emptying the pipe, but you know, considering the rains that we get, this pipe fills up, right? So anything that's heavier than water collects here. So grit, grime, anything that was on the roof, it fills up this pipe and the water starts rising and rising and rising, okay? And it keeps, and it's still there. So as rain comes down the pipe, it still, um, it, it still gets caught in this, in this first flush diverter, okay? So the first, three, two gallons of water, um, you know, gets caught in this section here. Now notice this pipe purposely kind of guides that water. We want it to hit this standing water first to kind of act as our first filter. Then, uh, if this pipe is filled up, then the rain water is diverted over here and through this elbow and right here is going to be the top of our tote. Okay, so then we come, we're inside the tote right now and we have this very long pipe that kind of comes down to the bottom. Okay, so this, the bottom of the tote will be right at the bottom of this PVC pipe and we've kind of notched it open to kind of let that water come out and it's forced out at the very, very bottom of the tote. Okay, so, um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of churn, especially in a hard, uh, hard rain. So anything that's lighter than water um, might get flushed out here. I might stand in that pipe for quite a while, but um, we're, we're trying to get some cross tote, water tote um, churn of that water to keep it all fresh. So this, we're forcing the rainwater to come out at the bottom. So anything that was settled to the bottom of the tote is also kind of churned up and kind of, you know, mixed in with the regular water. Okay, so then it fills up the tote and the tote uh, the IBC tote starts filling up until it gets close to the top. Now what comes in, we got to let come out as well. So inside the tote is our um, overflow uh, diverter. Okay, so this pipe here, which is just open um, and is quite long, it extends to the opposite corner of the tote. So we're trying to get that water to move across the tote. We're forcing it in at the bottom on one end and out at the top on the opposite corner. So all it does is come in, comes through this elbow, we're exiting the tote here uh, through the side and then out and we have some type of extension uh, pipe here. Now this pipe, we kind of want to force that overflow away from the house. Uh, so uh, um, these are just dry fit right now. Uh, I'll probably put a longer pipe to kind of get the, that water further away from our foundation. Um, when we do it all up permanently, I'll probably put some screen across the top, like hardware cloth or something. Just make sure that, uh, you know, nobody climbs up into the pipe, uh, chipmunks, mouse, whatever. We, you don't want that inside the rain catchment. So that is the theory behind the first flush diverter. Um, you know, if you get a really, really gentle rain, uh, it may not fill up that pipe. You may not get anything into your rain catchment because the drip a second plus the, you know, the, the volume that needs to fill up this first flush diverter may not fill up, but that's okay. That's not the water that you want in your toad anyway. Um, we want where it's a big rain um, and, you know, you'd be surprised, you know, a quarter inch of rain uh, can add quite a few gallons into the rain catchment. So um, it, it doesn't take very much to fill up these 270 some gallons. 
and then hit the overflow. Uh, keeps that water fresh, and then you know anything that's extra, it just goes on its way as if it normally would. Um, the only thing is that you've captured about 200 gallons for your own use. So there you go. And that is our rain tote, almost completely assembled. Uh, I've got the siding on, it's on a stand. Uh, it's caught about over 200 gallons of water. Uh, I've run out a few, few gallons just to give it some space for the next rain. Um, only thing left to do is do some of the corner trim and uh, top. Uh, but I've got a, a panel sitting on top so it's protecting from the sun kind of minimizing the amount of uh, algae growing inside the water. But um, there we go, there's our rain tote attached to our gutter, runs down, fills that first flush pipe there, fills up, tees off, and then fills into the tank, the overflow behind it. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you could, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time at Redbud.